Hey, review family. I hope you're having some uh, nice weather wherever you are because it's been raining a lot here. But that doesn't change the fact that the channel keeps going. Rain doesn't stop track review. So yes, welcome back to my series, Track Review, the series in which I review tracks. Tracks that are causing major head wave in the music industry and are just getting a lot of people talking. Now, a lot of times I won't do a track review unless it's like a recently released track. But this one actually came out February 28th, 2018, and the album that this song is on is actually uh, out. And I plan on doing a like full-length album review for that album very soon, but I wanted to talk about this song in particular because I didn't want to clutter the review by having like just like minute upon minute of me talking about one song because for whatever reason, this song in particular really excites me and gets me like excited for the future of this band. So of course we're talking about Churches. And we're talking about the song My Enemy featuring Matt Berninger. Berninger? Uh, I know he is the frontman for the uh, the National. I, To be honest, I ha I'm not like too um, familiar with him. I, I don't know much about the National. I know of them. Uh, I know that they're like an indie rock band and stuff. But I, I don't have too much of a knowledge of him as an artist. But I definitely love Churches. And if you saw my... Uh, during this week, my favorite electronic bands and artists, they pretty much tied with Depeche Mode because I just really love the kind of uh, glitzy, I, I just love the production on their songs. And I think that Churches is really stepping forward when it comes to electronic music in a lot of ways because they are taking indie music. They're taking electronic music, they're taking indie-tronic music, they're taking synth pop, they're taking just indie music by itself, they're taking regular pop, and they're putting it in to create such just atmospheric songs, and Lauren Mayberry's voice has to be one of my favorite female vocalists in general. Uh, Churches is, is a Scottish band, if you didn't know, she's Scottish, and it just, they, this album, this song in particular, showcases that churches is, is just on top of their game and they're only getting better with age because this song has such an atmosphere behind it. Uh, churches is known for having some really great instrumentals, but at the same time, this song in particular really has such a great instrumental behind it. I really like the instrumental on this track. And I love the instrumentals on all of Church's music, but in particular, this one really hit me. Uh, so basically, the song, it seems to me it's about, um, like, being in a relationship and wishing the other person would have, like, owned up to whatever it is they were doing. And you're telling them that you still kind of want to be in their life, but you don't, but it's kind of getting old and you're... Uh, not telling each other the truth. It, it, it could have went a lot better, but it's over now. That type of thing. And it's nothing that hasn't been done before. But I think that it really came across well in terms of the way it was portrayed and formulated. Because you have Lauren Mayberry's voice, which is kind of this uh, softer, vulnerable type of voice. And then you have his voice, which is kind of lower, gruffer, and it, the two mix on the verses and choruses, and then they join together in the final chorus. And I think that the two voices mix very well, and the lyrics really do seem like it's going back and forth between these two people who have their own standpoints of whatever was happening at the time. So for that, I have to say I really enjoyed the lyrical components of this track. Um, obviously, their vocals were great. Lauren, like I said, her voice is just great. I love her voice so much. It, it, it has this kind of soft, sweet vulnerability, but like maturity. It's hard to explain. If, if you go to a church's video, you'll notice that people are saying the same thing. And I am going to assume that the people in the band wrote the lyrics for the song. So good job. Uh, I just, I love this song so much. It's pretty much as perfect a song as it can get, and it goes to show that I'm not just this metalhead because I love electronic music if it's made well, and boy, Churches make some really good, like really, really good electronic music that I am a huge fan of. So I'm going to post it in the description below, and you can go listen to it. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Come back to the video and let me know, and like, comment, subscribe. I'll shout your channel out in the end screen. You can find my previous videos as well as the subscribe button, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.
different flow and I guess it's the end When I lost my mind and I lost my back